Saya amat terkejut Dengan Pengakuan Astro Bahawa liputan bersih oleh BBC Telah pun ditapis dan dipotong Untuk mematuhi garis panduan tempatan Ini adalah satu lagi skandal Iaitu satu pengesahan selama ini Bahawa memang liputan-liputan akan ditapis secara sendiri mengikut garis panduan tempatan Apa garis panduan tempatan itu kita tak tahu Saya selalu cakap bahawa ada dua jenis kongkongan kuasa ke atas kebebasan tempat I will say there are two forms of restrictions on freedom of the press. Yang pertama ialah secara halus menerusi tapisan sendiri. One is self-censorship. One restriction on the freedom of the press to self-censorship. And here you can see that the local editors they can do they are they are so good in self censorship that even the official censors cannot do a better job that the local editors news mainstream news media the local television stations they do their self censorship so well that even the <coughs> government censors cannot do a better job another form of Restriction of press is what we describe openly as uh, you know, beating up reporters, lah, smashing your cameras, lah. This one we know. This one is open. Uh, open attacks on the freedom of the press, where you beat up reporters, you smash their cameras, smash their cameras, and never mind, smash the reporter also. Not only lo for local press, even Al Jazeera also can. And now we have got one form of. Restrictions on the freedom of the press Yang halus punya That is more Indirect But yet also a form of censorship Which is self-censorship Admission by Astro This is the first time there is admission that there is self-censorship Astro admit That They actually Cut And edit BBC news coverage That's why BBC was so angry BBC condemned the act We strongly condemn any blocking of the trusted news That we broadcast around the world Including via distribution partners How can you block BBC news? Then it is not accurate Because they are very proud of their news coverage So now when we see the We always think say that you cannot trust local news You tak boleh percaya TV3 You tak boleh percaya RTN You kena lihat, you kena tengok BBC, CNN Ataupun Al Jazeera Sekarang saya rasa pun mungkin susah Kerana dia akan ditapis Even BBC News also cannot be trusted This is the state of the press freedom in Malaysia And we are celebrating Press, World Press Day tomorrow huh? Shameful isn't it? Memalukan Mereka sekarang berminat Tunjuk gambar yang bukan-bukan sahaja ha, Itu dia sangat pandai lah Tunjuk gambar yang bukan-bukan But then when you talk about Reporting news Even BBC, CNN also They edit and they cut That's why tomorrow We call on everyone to wear black And then we'll distribute yellow ribbon So tie a yellow ribbon down your, around your black shirt lah, Black dress Okay no, In direct form of restriction Which is self-censorship Now is even the local news providers Or the local uh, satellite They also cut BBC news coverage CNN news coverage Al Jazeera news coverage I don't know whether it got cut no. Because they're provided by Astro BBC one got cut 
And then, then after they complain and they condemn Astro, Astro admit they have done that and say, oh, this one necessary because we have to follow local guidelines. Tapi dia rasa kecewa, berani rasa kecewa kerana tapis dan potong liputan BBC lagi. You potong orang punya liputan, you cakap dia tak patut komplain. Kerana dia komplain, Astro cakap rasa kecewa. Ini Astro. Dia tak ada standard untuk kebebasan Akbar. No standards on truthful reporting. Astro should be ashamed of himself. The, ask the whole ministry to explain what are these local guidelines imposed on news media to impose self-censorship. So nowadays, I think all the mainstream news media are susah. For me, it's only an exercise of self-defense. Because whenever I give a press conference, they distort and twist and refuse to give me a right of reply. I cannot be swing them every day. I don't have the resources, I don't have the time. So as an act of self-defense, since you do not want to report what I say accurately, then please don't report. So that I don't have to take a suit every day. No, we are not saying everyone is perfect. No, but when, uh, let's say a mistake reporting is made, at least you give me an opportunity to clarify. As long as it's not personal attack lah. Personal attack, then no choice really. Then you have to file suit. But you talk about policies and all that, okay, you say that something that's not true, I can clarify the next day. Then at least you give me a right of reply. But when you don't even give me the right of reply, what else can I do? It gives me no choice but to say, okay lah, if you, don't, if you want to do that, then don't print my news are better. Then everyone is safe. I don't have to sue you. You don't have to do so much work to go and uh, twist and distort what I say. You know, sometimes they got to think how to go and twist what I say. You know? A lot of work required. So I think it's good that way. Lah. They don't have to do so much work to go and twist and distort what I say. I don't have to worry about having to sue them every over every single report. So that is different. I think we have never stopped uh, uh, reporters from covering events. So even though sometimes if they are here, they are present when I attend an event, I never stop them. But at least you cut down the frequency of misreporting and of course filing of suits. I don't see how that is different. No, I don't see how that is the same. I do not see how that is the same. Here you are taking someone's report and twisting it. Which is what? So BBC is a victim. The same way I've been victim for many times. Huh? BBC report always get twisted, distorted. My one also the same. 